Hi everybody, today I wanted to share with you an incredible journey that I had for 21 years with my horse Echo. And during that time, not only did he help me to become the person I am today through teaching, mentoring, guiding, not doing anything traditionally, and helping me to really understand who I am fully and completely. And in that process, watching the two of us blend as he created this partnership that we had together, where we shared wisdom that came from him and his beautiful ancient soul that we were able to put out into social media, onto my website, and um, through the feedback that we received, we were really touching people at the right moment in their lives with something that was super helpful. So um, a few years into this, um, Echo clearly came to me in a way that was to say, you know, can we share everything that we have learned together in how to be in this deeper loving partnership and bring it out to other people? And so what began was me learning how to hear him and channel right with him. This was long before he was channeling words of wisdom out there into the world. And I was really kind of opening up more and stepping into this lifestyle that I have now where channeling information from guides and from animals is very graciously uh, part of what I do every day. And so um, Echo and I be began this beautiful relationship that every morning I would sit with my laptop in the barn and he would literally come into the barn to channel to me and I would type away because horses don't have fingers and so I was his fingers for typing. Um, and then he would walk off and he would go and graze and I would check everything over and then he would come back in and we would do some more writing and over a number of years, um, we put a book together and it was all about how he taught me, what he taught me and what it looked like. Because sometimes it was so subtle, even I didn't get the answer to the question he was asking me or get to know the reason he was pushing my buttons and what was it about myself that I needed to understand better on that day, in that moment for that season, whatever it was that he was trying to share with me. And, um, and then I stopped writing for a little while where my life was just where it was and writing wasn't what I was doing. And as he was getting older, um, he would push a little harder and he would say things to me like, do you want this to be a legacy? And he was basically threatening me, but he knew that if he pushed my buttons enough that I would get back onto the job in hand, which was to finish the book. And so I said, no, 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 I don't want you to be a legacy. I really, really want to finish this book with you and get it out there and share it with people. And so we did finish it um, probably two years ago now. Um, and it's been kind of out there, but kind of not. It's on my website, but it hasn't really been out, out. And um, so I really wanted to start inviting everybody to at least listen to some excerpts from this book and um, get to know Echo and get to know how he helped me create my life and my lifestyle and heal and move myself into a place of unconditional love that it's just an amazing experience to be in and his patience in walking me through that process from when we first met when he was six years old um, and reading the book and typing up the book it was incredible to look at exactly what we had experienced and what we had been through and all the subtleties in his teachings and so as we develop the book each chapter of the book has a focus to it so that as you read the book, you can see what the focus was, what it was that he was teaching me in that chapter, in that moment. And so I'm super excited to bring this back to the forefront uh, or forward to the forefront um, and um, offer this as another opportunity 
whether you're an equine person or you're not an equine person, it honestly doesn't matter. This book is for anybody who wants to understand themselves a little better because all of the lessons that I learned while being with Echo here on Earth and then also by writing this book are lessons and experiences and signs that we receive that you don't have to have a great big black horse in your face every day. It was just the way that I needed to learn my lessons and he was kind enough to step up to the plate. So what I wanted to do today was to uh, read what's on the back cover and then read an excerpt from this book for you. And I hope you really enjoy it. Um, the book is available through my website. I just got some more copies printed up, so we have plenty to go around. I'm happy to sign the books or uh, give messages from Echo onto the book for you before I mail them out. Um, but here's what he had to write on the back of the book. Imagine for a moment an existence and experience where we all honored each other, where we all lived in balance in a beautiful world created for us to enjoy and be amazed by. Imagine, visualize and feel something wonderful every day and watch life change before you. So he wrote this a really, really long time ago. But what's really fascinating to me as I go back into this book is that it's so pertinent for now. And what I'm learning about the messages that Echo has shared over the years is that he had incredible perception for the future. And so much of what he's written is so in line with where we are now and how we need to move forward and what we need to learn about ourselves in that process. So this book has even more in it than I ever imagined it could have. And his writings mean more now than they kind of did at the time that we did them. So the wisdom keeps coming and it keeps circling back around. Um, here's an excerpt from the book. And this was taken in 2001, where I had just moved to Florida thinking I would start a whole new life down there. And the chapter is trust in life and death. And the focus, what does it take to find that open place in your heart to trust what you don't understand, yet know it's the right decision to make? Time to speak up and express yourself. So the page that I flipped to talks about a time when Echo had an injury and it was really the first time that I was learning how to listen to him and how he wanted to take care of this injury and how he wanted to move forward and to trust in that process. So um, here we go. I shared the farm with three other horses, a pig and a pony. The pig and pony were best friends. The pony was very old and was allowed to roam the farm, which was enclosed completely by fencing. She was never stalled at night and was always laid down next to the pig pen and her and the pig would sleep side by side. It was a beautiful synergy of two animals who understood each other. Similar to the relationship that was now building so rapidly between Michelle and me. Although Michelle still slept in her house and I slept in the store. In the winter of 2002, Michelle came to me to share her excitement. She had new ideas for her working life and how she would earn a living. It was amazing to see the difference in her from the person I had met all those years ago and how she had grown and shifted into someone who had connected to knowing her new path. She was beaming and full of life as she told me she was going to start a business encompassing all she had learned in classes, her mentor time from Julie and Michelle's own experiences with me. Ah, yes, she had got it. She sat with me for a while and we looked back at the past 18 months and all we had shared together since moving to Florida. She said that hindsight is 2020. She had been contemplating the path we had traveled since taking such a huge risk and how every place and person she needed to meet had found their way to her. She talked about her original intention of coming to Florida to find a place to live for her and Naira a barn for me and a job to support us all. Maybe even a new life. 
It was so clear now why she had come to Florida and for a reason she could never have imagined or created if she had been aware of it. She was in awe of how it had all happened and she was now determined to take this even further. She presumed that everything she had learned was for her to take care of her own animals only, but was now realizing that her own animals were just the beginning to something bigger. I'm gonna be sharing more excerpts from his book. If you want more information, please go to the website um, to order the book. Um, I would love to know your feedback if you get the book and you read it. Um, it's always fascinating to see Echo's teachings through other people's eyes. I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.